I just thought I would take a quick video of my Warhammer Fantasy Army of the Empire painted for me by Blue Table Painting. Needless to say, I am beyond impressed with the quality of work that they do. This is not the first project that I've completed with them, but it is by far the largest. And I thought I'd take a short, what may not end up being short, video of the army. And we'll go unit by unit here. This is a unit of crossbowmen. This is what they call level 3, but, I mean, this level 3 work is just awesome. Some freehand on the banner there. That's 20 crossbowmen. Next we have a unit of 30 great swords. And see if we can focus in here. Again, truly, truly impressive work. I mean, even ranks back, you can see the whites of their eyes. Sean says you shouldn't look at level 3 this close to scrutinize, but I mean, there is nothing wrong here at all. Some more very nice freehand on the banner. So that is 30 great swords. Here we have a unit of 40 swordsmen. Those are some mean looking troops. Yeah, look at that guy. Very nice. Now we have a 20-man unit of halberdiers. These guys are some of the toughest to rank up, but thankfully to the magnetized movement trays, it's a little bit more bearable, at least for me, to do so. Again, these infantry I'm showing you here are all level 3. Look at that standard bearer. Some more great freehand there. Imagine that just charging down the battlefield your way. Next, we have a 20 man unit of handgunners. Love love the banner spitting out a bullet so that is the core infantry portion of the army let's get to some of the good stuff not that that was not good, but if that was good, then the rest is amazing. wonder how much I can focus up here. General of the Empire on an Imperial Griffin with a poor orc casualty on the base. Just amazing amounts of detail. You can read it says Sigmar there on the shield. The tones on the wings. 
the slate work on the base. Next we have a couple of warrior priests. One with a great weapon, one with hand weapon shield. Then we have an awesome captain of the empire mounted. He's also probably going to be my battle standard bearer. Awesome, awesome stuff there. I guess we'll go here next. Six Demigriff Knights. These guys are pretty outstanding. Great base work there also. The musician here actually uses his, uh, that instrument's actually attached to his shield. Then we have a couple of witch hunters. A couple different poses on them. Come over here to the unit of ten pistoliers. Now these are level four. I should have been saying that those individual units and the demigriff knights were level fives. These pistoliers are level fours. When you get up to level 4, you can see their pearly white teeth. Now we can go to something truly incredible. This is a Luminarch. And you might be asking yourself, now why are the occupants of the carriage on their own bases? Well, they don't have to always be magnetized if you want or put them in the carriage that's just there's no words for how sweet that is we got an, the mage here can also come off his base and he can plop himself right back there now this mage isn't just one distinct type of mage this is something that just amazes me okay so right now he has a cobra on his staff that isn't necessarily the only thing he could have any of these little attachments with their little pins. Can slide right into the staff. So he's about as generic a wizard as you can get. So if I field him alone on the battlefield as my level four or what have you, all these fit right in there. That is just too cool. But uh, this Hurricanum piece didn't break off. It actually comes off magnetic. Now before I put that on though, let's see with one hand if I can carefully swap this around. So the whole top portion of the Hurricaneum, detailed paint job as it would be, or Luminarch rather, magnetically swappable, put him here for now, so that you can then put 
the hurricane I'm on. Yeah, I know, that is just too sweet. Either way, that's pretty much as customizable as I've ever seen in person, anyway. Where should we go next? So this one does the exact same thing. Different set of crew each on bases that they are not destined to remain on and can be affixed to the carriage itself and that can also be swapped. Now the detail on this, these carriages are also level fives. Sorry for my less than expert camera handling ability. This is level 4 battle wizard on two-headed imperial griffin. With a soon-to-be orc casualty. Custom Kingdoms terrain, by the way. Great stuff. Here's a Captain of the Empire on foot. And another Battle Wizard on foot. And a Master Engineer on Mechanical Steed. I just think that I could not pass that up. Little crank on the back. Then we have a couple cannons that don't necessarily have to remain cannons. If I can with one hand swap these around cannon barrel magnet magnetized mortar option magnetized as well cannons and crew level three and I think I saved the best for last could be just personal opinion though steam tank level 5 just looks absolutely amazing but it is not all that it seems at first glance either this little guy can pop right out of there onto his own base so I could do master engineer on foot if I wanted to and since he's no longer in the tank we might as well just close that up but if you did want to see inside you certainly could see the little gauges those gauges are just awesome So that then, I believe, is it. Just got this in the mail today. Spent a good amount of time unpackaging everything. And I might add, not a single piece was broken. Unpackaged every figure that was expertly packaged and not a single chip of paint, not a single broken weapon not a single bent halberd so that is it, my Warhammer Fantasy Empire army as an aside the inspiration for my color scheme
was the dice that I picked up for it, blue and gold. It was very cool to see um, individual videos in blue in some of blue table paintings videos of my project. But I do thank you for watching and until next time.